Convinced of the bat bomb's potential, the Marine Corps launches Project X-Ray, and the team starts putting the finishing touches to their weapon. Doc Adams has designed a purpose-built bombshell. The five-foot container will hold over a 1,000 bats snoozing in separate compartments on 26 trays. The bomb will be dropped from high altitude. At 4,000 feet, a barometric device deploys a parachute and the outer casing simultaneously falls away. The trays open like an accordion, freeing the bats from their compartments. Each one then acts as a launching platform, allowing the bats time to wake up. As they take flight, a hair-thin wire arms the incendiaries, primed to go off in 30 minutes. In December 1943, at Dugway Proving Ground, Utah, the bat bomb is readied for testing, to be dropped over a replica Japanese town built in the desert. There was quite a crowd there, mostly statisticians and just, you know, high-ranking observers. The weapon is taken up in a bomber and released. It works perfectly. The bats disperse and hide under eaves and in attics, just as expected. Observers get to work comparing the bat bomb to conventional incendiaries. There may have been skepticism before, but what they find is impressive. 